Hello everyone, today's trek is to the historic city in Southern California, just adjacent to LA, um, called Culver City. And not a lot of people outside of California, or even outside of the LA area, really know uh, anything about Culver City. Um, in fact, most people who don't work in the entertainment industry in one form or another don't really know a lot about Culver City, uh, but it is as historic a city for film and television and everything uh, having to do with Hollywood as Hollywood. Harold Lloyd, Laurel and Hardy, um, any of those, Little Rascals, our gang in particular was filmed up and down Motor Street, which is what we're going to visit today, um, so much so that I would consider Motor Street to be uh, the our gang studio. If you look at that I Love Lucite building, which is kind of funny, there is an episode where I remember Farina and Sammy and they were on like a little scooter or something and it's powered out you know un under gravity and they're flying down the street <laughs> I gotta stop and show you guys this real quick voila there's Hawk he'll kick your ass all right we're heading up to the historic Culver Hotel. Again, many of the silent era films, silent era Laurel and Hardy's were filmed here. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna make a left on the Culver Boulevard. And you're gonna see, like you can see a little bit of it right there. That is the uh, former front to the City Hall building. And it was used as a location for the Laurel and Hardy movie County Hospital back in, I believe, 19. 33 and there it is so cool look at that So even though the Hal Roach Studios no longer exists and all that's left in its place is a shopping center and a small park with a little plaque, the truth is that very little of the shorts back in the 20s were shot there. They were mostly shot on the street that I'm on right now called Motor Avenue and Motor Avenue was basically the street of choice for the studio to film a lot of their things on I have no idea why um, but it seems like a really uh, really interesting feel when you're driving down the street and then when you look at those old movies they have like a lot of um, different things about them like very very interesting and quirky things about everything on the street and it's actually just a it's just a beautiful street so here we go We're going down Motor Avenue 
What's really sad is that much of what you see in the Our Gang shorts that's on Motor Avenue um, was here up until about four years ago, and much of the buildings have been torn down that were here from the 20s, including the original house that was the house of Mary Corman's character. It was called the original Our Gang House. If you look it up online, uh, on, on Google Maps, and you, you type in the address of it, it actually says the original Our Gang House. And then when you get there, uh, you're shocked to find that there's nothing there but a big desolate field full of nothing. So this is truly the studio. It used to be one of the little rascals' hangouts. They used to go there to buy their candy and everything else. Did you know that this, this was the Little Rascals hangout? It sure was. This was, do you, so you know this. Before corporate sold their corporate, took over everything, yes, this was actually once upon a time, the, actually there used to be called Market Cross Street called Drugstore, that was the store they used to go buy the candy. That's right. And this used to be the other store and the house was right behind. Yeah. Before this corporate bought everything and turning into a sh I can't believe this happened. Wow. Yeah, landmark is only protective if it's not corporate bond. If corporate bond, they don't give a shit. Wow. So this is Mentoni Avenue. I think that's how you pronounce it. M-E-N-T-O-N-E -E Avenue, 3400 block. This street is featured quite heavily in the shorts as well. Now some of you are wondering maybe how I know all this, and the reason why I know all this is because of the Culver City Historical Society. They figured it all out, you know, so thanks to them.